Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to disable the predictive text and also the uh, suggested replies in the Outlook.com or Outlook.live.com webmail for you know Outlook and Outlook 365. So we have this email here from Cindy, and let's open it up in a new window here. Uh, sent from Cindy, and she wants to know will you be able to make the meeting at nine? And there's some auto replies here that you could just click on to have it automatically fill that in, so you don't have to type it. And then if you do start typing it. If I start doing, see how it fills it in for me? And then that always throws me off because I want to type, I could be there, but it's suggesting I could be reached, and that is not what I want, so you just have to kind of ignore it and hope that, you know, you know if you hit tab, then it'll use it, and that kind of thing. So that might be distracting to you. So what we could do, we're going to close this here. Actually, let me get it out of the drafts here. Okay, so we'll go to the settings with the gear icon here, and then view all Outlook settings, and then in Compose and Reply, I'm going to scroll down here, okay, so the first thing is the suggested replies, those were those boxes that had the uh, suggestions in it, so you could turn that off, and then you have text predictions here, suggest words or phrases as I type, you could turn that off. Click on save, so we'll close this, so we'll double click this email again, so now you can see the auto replies or the suggested replies are gone, and if I hit reply here, it doesn't try to auto complete for me. So that, that might be a lot uh, easier for you, so you're, you know, less distractions while you're typing. So once again, settings, view all Outlook settings, compose and reply, scroll down, suggested replies if you want to get rid of those boxes, and then text predictions if you don't want it to, to start typing ahead of you, you know, thinking it knows what you want to say. And then there's a couple other things that you could actually turn off too. Uh, quick suggestions and the autofill, you know, for flight information, but that just doesn't really seem to affect anything, at least so far. All right, so give that a shot and then uh, see how it works for you. Okay, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.